32 IBTS J flight here, Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, meaning uh, roughly 32 foot of walkable floor space, probably closer to 35 or 6 feet, including tongue and bumper. Um, I meaning island kitchen, uh, B meaning bunkhouse, TS triple slide. That's how we get to that. I love the cosmetics they're putting here. The front and rear walls are this really sharp, like gunmetal gray. It just really sets the tone of this whole thing right from the front. It gives it a very strong, defined look without being like, you know, really flashy in your face paint package. Um, they really tie it in with the sidewalls here. You see with the trim coloration. And the black trim they're putting on this, I think, is really the thing that sets it apart and gives it that. It's, it's cheesy and a cliched phrase, but, but the pop, you know. Um, in this, uh, this, there's a lot of reasons. The J-Flight is the number one selling travel trailer in North America since 2005 and counting. Ten consecutive years they've held that record. I'm going to share with you in this video a few of the reasons why. Keep in mind, when I point out things like this power tongue jack or the power awning, these are options and upgrades on the J-Flights that may or may not be equipped on every single one of these that we keep in stock. So always double check the picture tour, the options list to make sure it has the right you know, color fabrics on the sofa and the options you're looking for because they can vary little from this video. So what makes J-Flight the best? Well, on the topic of things like the power awning and tongue jack, it's stuff that you can't see that makes J-Flight the best in its class at so many things. Every trailer is best for a different reason, but J-Flight's best for a lot. There is no uh, trailer in this class of better construction. Um, you know, a, uh, one of the indicators I like to look at here is the fact that your tongue frame passes right through and connects directly to your, uh, the A-frame here connects right to the I-beams. Most manufacturers, they, uh, they simply build the frame of the trailer and then they just set the rectangular frame of the trailer on top of that I-beam. There's not a lot of structure marrying the tongue of the trailer that you're pulling to the actual trailer itself. Um, you know, if you look down here, not only does this have just an enormous uh, underbed uh, storage space in here, but notice that you don't see plywood. You don't, or pardon me, you see plywood. You don't see particle board. You don't see OSB. You know, if you look at your uh, all, all of your woodwork here, everything is far thicker than what you typically find in most brands, and it's that extra thickness that adds. Um, you know, the, the strength, the rigidity, uh, the, the longevity to this. And that's, again, why we have double the warranty on this product of virtually anything else in this class. Unfortunately, we have these trailers really packed in pretty close together here, as you can see. So I apologize, I can't get the awning open. But notice that the awning goes from way in front of the entry door over the island kitchen slide all the way back here. You have a huge power awning on this thing. Um, now, again, they're a little close together, so don't, don't have a heart attack. This door goes, does go up further. I just couldn't open it all the way. 32 IBTS does have a full outdoor kitchen. Uh, you, you see up here you have lots of outdoor storage, and there's some really cool things I wanted to point out. Notice that we're looking at uh, metallic struts, not the plastic struts, so you don't have to do the game where you balance the door on top of your head while you're digging in there. And metal struts don't wear out the way plastic struts do. I think plastic struts are okay, in my opinion, if you use two of them. But with metal struts, you don't have to do that. You don't have to worry about replacing them. And notice that even outside, we have full LED light fixtures in a J flight. You're not going to spend your time uh, trying to match up light bulbs in a parts shop. You don't have to. They're not incandescents. Um, you have a lot of countertop space in here. And notice with these power outlets, you could easily hook up like blenders or griddles or extra things like that. Now, what's cool is uh, with this, you have the, uh, the two burner stove that slides right in and out of the outdoor kitchen here. But also notice that on the rear bumper, you see this bracket. That's a dead giveaway that you have a swing arm mounted full grill that goes with this. So you actually can cook you know, your steaks or your brats or your burgers and the beans and the sides all at the same time. You, you really do not have to do any cooking inside if you don't want to. And where so many other manufacturers are giving you the tiny little mini fridge, Jayco is still giving you the full size fridge here. Like if you're a college kid and you wanted the big fridge, that's the one you'd have. Now, uh, the other thing I really like about these is Jayco's outdoor kitchens use a little different key system so people can't get in here when you're not around. That's the other thing I like. Now, this version of this floor plan um, has the second entry door to the bathroom and that's not unusual you've seen that probably in things like a 32 bhds j flight but other manufacturers make a triple slide bunkhouse like this but to, they, they cheat they cut out this extra door to try to shorten the trailer up and that results in loss of function anything that results in loss of function uh to me is is a is a, just a disqualifier 
this uh, the fact that you have a fridge right here and the outdoor uh, bathroom entry door right here is going to be the number one and two reasons people, kids, adults, whoever, are in and out of the camper. You're going to cut down on all the foot traffic and dirt getting tracked through your camper because of this. Now, extra things I mentioned construction. You have galvanized wheel wells here under J-Flight. You see, if you have a flat tire blowout, you have an actual metal enclosure protecting the interior of your of your trailer from a, a a busted radial tire flopping around down there, and that's one of those things that it's it's not a fun thing to talk about. It's not like one of those features like oh it's got a flat screen TV that's awesome, but it's this kind of stuff that determines your value over time. Full underbelly enclosure, but notice that J Flight um, they hook their underbelly enclosure on top of the I-beam. They actually run a C-channel up there. And they do that so that over time, instead of most manufacturers simply bolt the uh, underbelly enclosure to the bottom of the I-beam. Over time, when you bolt to the bottom of that, that underbelly stuff can, uh, can bow and flex and it can actually create gaps. And if it's gaps, well then it's not enclosed. Um, you know, with the Jayco, that can't happen. It's channeled in place. It's, it's enclosed, it's locked. Um, and that's part of their thermal package that we have equipped on this, which is one of those options I mentioned. We almost always equip that on anything that says J-Flight on the front. Um, that's just, it's a, it's a big item for us because it basically doubles the insulation on the roof and the floor and encloses and it insulates and heats the floor. It's such a big deal. It even adds some insulation to the slide-out floors, which normally most travel trailers don't have, strangely enough. You only have about an R2 on the slide-out floors, which is not much. Um, so here we have an upgraded full hide -a bed sofa, uh, trifold memory foam sofa so that we have a bigger space to sleep. This interior color, by the way, is called coffee, but again, remember that can vary from trailer to trailer. I do really like this one, though. It's very, um, I like the earth tones. It's very, uh, cozy. You know, it's, it's camping. Um, here, this is something else I like to talk about. In this class, you generally have metal blinds, not the pleated nightshades. And you notice that you still have windows that slide open for cross ventilation in a J flight. That is not something I can say for every brand in this class. Part of the Elite package that we have equipped on this is the skylight above the kitchen here, which is letting in all the ambient light. Standard feature in a J flight is a 33% larger refrigerator freezer as compared to the six cubic foot for most brands. Now, the, I don't know that really pictures do this one justice. This is a floor plan you really have to to, to walk in and try on for size, almost like a t-shirt. You know, it might look good on the rack, but man, you gotta try this one on and you, you're like, wow, this fits me like a glove. Um, you know, the, uh, the these two slides across from one another, this kitchen slide and this living room slide here are giving this thing an enormous wide living space that bunk houses normally don't have, but you can only see a small part of it at a time in a picture. What you can't appreciate is that your three big appliances here, your refrigerator, your microwave, your stove, they're in a slide, they're off the floor plan, they're out of your way. And it makes room for extra things like extra prep countertop space, extra cabinet space you see over here. And I love the three-dimensional work, the offsetting they do with their cabinets at Jayco. It's always been impressive to me. Um, another part of the Elite package, things like the nicer kitchen hardware here. And uh, we like to add the sink inserts whenever we can to give you some extra usable countertop space. Now, the island here, you see that there is storage all over the place um, on this island. So it's not just there to take up space. It's fully functional. Um, the other thing I like to point out is both sides of the island have these little, like, hidden spice racks or hidden pantries. And that's very cool. I've seen a lot of island kitchens where they just kind of unfortunately sort of waste that space um, and every ounce of space in an RV is so important now another thing to mention while we're here in the living room J flights are taller this is 81 inches tall not 78 inches tall uh, I guess uh, you know in English what that means is that it's the difference between having extra headroom in the bunks bigger cabinets and the ability to stand up in the shower now this is what's so cool uh, this is really unique. There are similar floor plans, but no one has quite nailed it like Jayco has here. First of all, I like to point out just how wide and open and flowing it is. The bunkhouse during the day is literally just an extension of the living room in this floor plan instead of being cut off and very sectionalized. A lot of people, you know, you they buy a 35-foot trailer, but like, man, it feels cramped in here because you only get to see 10 or 12 feet at a time. This is a big, wide-open um, community type floor plan. You know, it's designed around spending time and seeing your family. Now, I've kind of got this roughly in daytime mode. During the day, this overhead bunk flips up, as you see, uh, with the assistance of a couple struts to keep them up out of the way. Um, 
During the day, you can convert these futons to like a lounge or a sofa. At night, they can both fold open into basically a king-size bed, so mega st uh, sleeping space. Notice that you have windows both below and above so that everyone gets some nice light here and you can open those get cross ventilation each sleeping space does get its own little led night light so if you have uh, one of the kids is just having a little trouble sleeping at night or he doesn't like the dark not a problem and i love all the extra storage here the kids have their own entertainment in the back um, you see that we have lots and lots of open storage space here we have a pair of full extension uh drawers back here i call this socks and I call this underwear because that's exactly what they'd be used for. Now something else I like to point out here, let me close these. Jayco doesn't just build in a ladder, they build in a lot thicker, sturdier ladder with big wide planks so you can actually put your feet on them and climb up here. A lot of these ladders have these tiny little bars and kids like to move real fast and hop up and down them. They're, they're, if they're wearing socks, they're going to slip off of them. And they do have what I call the DVD shelf hidden back here. So there is just extra storage even behind the ladder. Now, all of your bunk mats and your primary bed are Denver Mattress brand. Uh, in short, the longest or quickest way I can state it is that anywhere you sleep, Jayco spends more money than anybody else. They give you the highest quality sleeping materials uh, in any price point where you find a J flight. Now notice too, you see how this bunk kind of recesses under that one a little bit? It's because this bunk is a little bit longer. So this is a good camper if you have a couple taller kids as well. Um, let's see here, bathroom. I walked right by the bathroom. Again, second door comes right into the bathroom. So you can, uh, you know, you don't have to necessarily take your shoes off or risk tracking dirt through the entire thing. We do have nicer porcelain stools with foot flush here, not plastic. Um, big medicine cabinet too, and that's that's one of those things I, I talk about a lot. And I, if you've ever owned a camper, you're like, yeah, that's a big deal because you know that it's where you're gonna put your floss and your toothpaste and all that stuff. If you've never owned a camper, you're like, so what, it has a medicine cabinet. Um, now this is your 30 pound propane tank cover and I have that here to show you how big the shower is. It's very large. That is another thing to point out. Jayco's have 50 pound or 30 pound tanks, not 20s. It gives you 50% more dry camping capacity. And again, very wide open, easy flowing floor plan. Um, oops, bad lighting there. There we go. Here's something I forgot to talk about this in the kitchen. On both sides of the island kitchen, there are some power outlets down here so that if you want to set a toaster or blender or a griddle or something up here, perfect spot to do it. Um, even the entertainment center has some fun things to talk about. Right when you walk in, you do have a spot to hang a coat, which is a personal pet peeve of mine when they don't give you a place to hang coats. And uh, I always called this the boot box, but parents are now calling it the timeout stool. That, that, that name has just absolutely made me smile. But... I have always called it the boot box because it's the perfect place to put all the shoes and get them out of the way. Because if you've ever owned a bunkhouse, you know the shoes on over this dangerous, ugly pile by the door. Um, before I forget, the air conditioner, we will almost always upgrade these to a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. But please always double check our listing. What I'm getting at is in English, more than likely, this has a 50% more powerful air unit on it. Now, notice that your TV does spin in the entertainment center and they did take the time to finish the back of it with a mirror just to really polish it up nice unfortunately you gotta on the way through you have to take a look at the ugliest thing in this entire trailer my apologies for that but you see that the, the flat screen mounts on here it spins between mom and dad's room tv is included we take that out for storage before uh these things go out for sale we like to make sure you're the first ones to touch them um and your dvd player does connect to outdoor speakers. It is Bluetooth enabled, so it is all sorts of fun. It does everything. Mom and dad do have a sliding pocket door here for privacy, so uh, you don't necessarily have to worry about the maybe the kids peeking at you or anything like that. This is a full queen bed, 80 inch queen bed. Queen sheets will fit this. And tall guys like me rejoice, your feet will not hang off of the foot of this bed. Uh, and again, TV will spin around here in the bedroom. So uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Don't hesitate to give us a call because I'm sure I've missed more than one thing. There's a lot to talk about on these J flights. Like I said, they're the number one seller for a lot of reasons. Uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. We do trades, parts, financing, accessories, hitching, everything. The whole point is this is supposed to be fun and easy. Give us a chance and I bet you find out we can make it that way. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.